Okay, so Krishan got arrested. Krishan Rock showed up to court Monday to support Blueface, but ended up being arrested. In a sequence of circumstances that has drawn attention from the public and generated a lot of conjecture, Chris and Rock became entangled in a convoluted personal and legal drama. Kristen showed up in court on what seemed to be a typical Monday to defend her close friend Blueface, only to discover that she was being detained on more charges. Hi there and welcome back to Relax Brew. Not only has this episode put her in the public eye, but it has also sparked severe concerns about her personal life, especially in relation to her young child. Kristen Rock a person who is frequently the subject of controversy, was brought into custody directly at the courts, where she was forced to face the harsh realities of the legal system. The public and dramatic nature of the arrest left spectators and admirers perplexed and alarmed. Soon after, there were rumors going around concerning her baby's whereabouts and well-being. The public and media made wild conjectures, with some speculating that Christian might be concealing something important or much more upsetting, that her child had been abducted by law enforcement or other unidentified persons. The child's purported caregiver, an acquaintance of Christian's, was said to have been more involved in the matter. But this acquaintance has fiercely denied ever seeing the child or knowing anything about their current circumstances. Such denials just made an already complex situation more mysterious and confusing. ASE the case progressed. Chris and Rock had to deal with the longer-term effects of her choices and actions, in addition to the immediate legal repercussions of her incarceration. According to reports, she was serving a 30-day jail sentence and was scheduled to be extradited to Oklahoma to face more drug-related crimes. The destiny of her young son, Chris and Jr., became a major concern during this emotional turmoil. Remarkably, Marsh, a loyal friend of Christian's, was purportedly given the responsibility of looking after Christian Jr. Public declarations implied that Marsh was giving the youngster excellent care during this difficult period. But there was a lot of conjecture after Christian Jr. vanished suddenly and unexplainably after his mother was imprisoned. It was questioned if Marsh was hiding the child under a fey aid of normalcy to keep Christian safe or to preserve some control over the tumultuous circumstances. Adding to the mystery was Mara's involvement. Another partner in the complex web of connections encircling Christian, Mara, likewise denied knowing the child's location since the arrest. Those who were closely monitoring the matter were becoming increasingly uneasy and suspicious as a result of this denial. ASA, the media, and community dug deeper. Questions about the guardianship agency's function arose. There were rumors that Christian was attempting to hide Flueface's involvement, the enigmatic character who was also having legal issues. Despite my normal indifference to celebrity traumas, the guardianship agency's silence generated more tales and narratives, some of which I found myself at odds with. The custody fight became even more problematic due to the dynamics inside the family. Witnesses saw BL's parents, who are probably Chris and Jr.'s grandparents, engaged in contentious debates concerning the child's paternity. Their reluctance to accept custody of the infant betrayed deeper familial conflicts and unsolved difficulties, Despite their outward displays of compassion, I in the middle of these arguments, Christian's sister Kizan started a GovMe page to pay for the legal bills, bringing attention to the financial hardship the family was going through. Despite her public image, this action was a sign of larger financial and support problems for Chrisain. There have even been rumors that Chrisian planned the mystery surrounding her child's location as a dramatic ruse to deflect attention from her legal troubles or to sway public opinion in her favor. The mystery of why Chrisian Rock's child is the subject of such intense scrutiny and controversy persists as we look deeper into this unfolding tale. Is it possible that the social media and street rumors created a stark picture of neglect and despair that made the government feel compelled to intervene? The complex web of family disputes, legal struggles, and media attention provides a detailed picture of Christian Rock's tumultuous life. The societal responses, 
the ongoing legal disputes, and the more profound ramifications of the public's obsession with Chris and Rock's personal and legal struggles will all be covered in the next section. The story of Chris and Jr. and his mother's difficulties in the public eye presents difficult questions regarding medical ethics, family privacy, and government intervention. Protective services and maybe guardianship services becoming involved suggest that the child's welfare is really being concerned. The case initially came to light when the mother, Chrissy and Rock, was criticized for taking too long to treat her son's hernia, a problem that should always be treated right away to prevent complications. When Blueface, the father, shared an explicit photo of their son on social media without using the normal discretion in such circumstances, it revealed their son's illness and caused an uproar. In a ferocious response, Chrissing claimed in an Instagram Live video that it was a tough decision for her to postpone the surgery and accused Blueface of making matters worse by announcing this in such a delicate way. Amid these tumultuous family relationships, there were reports going around that Chrissing Jr. might have a rare genetic condition. The strange noises the infant made, which viewers heard during one of Chrissing's live broadcasts, stoked this rumor. The public's outcry was immediate and intense, with many voicing worries about the baby's well-being and criticizing the delay in receiving medical attention. The couple's choices and way of life have regularly drawn criticism. Situations like Kristen's smoking during her pregnancy and Blueface's accusations of drug usage present a concerning image of the home this young child is growing up in. An incident at a Walmart when Chrissy was accused of mistreating her kid, Drew heightened these worries. She may feel overburdened by the responsibilities of parenting, despite her justification, and claim that everyone makes mistakes, as evidenced by the series of events. The level of engagement from the community and authorities reached a height when Blueface accused Chrissy of using drugs, claiming that this prevented her from giving their child the proper care. Her unpredictable conduct and these grave charges have been extensively covered and discussed in public spaces, including live streams that frequently divulge more private information than is deemed prudent. Social media users conjectured about the child's fasting and other health related concerns amid the uproar, which heightened the turbulence and added further layers of complexity. Due to the public release of these personal details, Chrissine's parenting has been under constant examination, which has resulted in a heated discussion about whether Child Protective Services involvement was required. There are several complex moral and societal issues raised by this case. Was it appropriate to intervene? Is it possible to strike a compromise between privacy rights and the public interest? Due to the activities of the people closest to Chrissine Jr., as well as public outcry, his future is still unknown. The plot thickens as it progresses, becoming wrapped in a web of rumors and sharp charges that leave more questions than answers. As we read on, we discover a tale that is riddled with errors and difficulties. The family's difficulties have been widely publicized, which draws attention to the extreme strain and scrutiny that contemporary parents in the internet era may face. Every choice made every error made, and every intimate moment might potentially be seen by millions. This story highlights concerns about the limits of social media's access to private life, as well as the obligations of individuals who engage with and view this content. The tragic consequences of social interference, the difficulties of parenting in the public eye, and the vital role that healthcare plays in a child's growth are all brought home by this moving narrative about Chris and Jr. It forces us to think about who gets to create boundaries, where they should be drawn, and when private life and the public interest should collide. Even as things change, this scenario serves as a clear example of the contemporary difficulties families face in negotiating the choppy waters of accountability and public attention. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.